So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Ratchaburi Mitropol have chosen to line up 5-4-1 here, it seems. Well, if flexibility doesn't have an influence on this system, we truly are looking at an approach that is quite negative. But at least there is good scope to turn a seemingly deep-line defence into a more dangerous attacking outfit. This system will allow plenty of attacking numbers without necessarily compromising on that discipline. the whistle Balls out on the left now and a header well to get his head on that but couldn't score Burram United can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source Buriram United going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Oh, what a ball! First quarter of an hour gone. Ratchaburi Mitropol are enjoying the lion's share of possession, but nothing yet to show for it. Nicely measured, has a pop! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? He's got through. And that should be the keepers. That is lovely footwork. Massive leap! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off for him. Hossa guy. No goals as yet. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Plays it out to the wing. Chooses to deal with it himself.
needs to get it forward quickly. Hits one! A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. I think they've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Forward it goes. Gets it back. Gets the better of his man. Plenty waiting in the middle. He's in, surely. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Pumps it into the area. Hoists it forward. He came in hard, very hard. Little doubt, that is a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Balls come loose. Out towards the flank. And the defence can get it clear. And it's played forward. He's pinged one through here. Shapes to shoot. Really well taken goal. And that could well be the winner. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. A 1-0 lead established. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Put it on the right now. What's on? Whipped in. Rachaburi Mitropol are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Hoists it forward. Fence has got rid of that. Buriram United certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Tries to locate someone up front. And there goes the final whistle. One goal settled it, a tense and exciting game that just got away. I've been in this position myself and this will be difficult to take. They did everything right but score, but at least I suppose they can reflect.